next video. Again, we're at the Piano Solutions Workshop. And today we discuss a very important issue in the piano industry. We try to understand what forces and how they affect aging of the piano. Generally, we know already that, of course, changes of humidity, changes of temperature, air quality and uh, different particles, uh, of course, organic stuff and uh, some type of radiation and vibrations, uh, they all affect uh, the aging of the piano. And of course, uh, the use of the piano, is, uh, like all the wear, is affect it. Uh, we try to find out uh, step by step which forces affect and how much. In order to, uh, to do it, we try to set uh, the experiment. And I prepare a piece of wood uh, and uh, it's very important to find out for us what's happened with this piece of wood. And it's a straight piece of wood, of cedar wood. What's happened if we apply different humidity to different sides of this board? In order to do this, we have to set the real experiment. Where, uh, what I do here, I place this piece of wood on the two blocks. And I try to apply from the bottom the higher humidity than is going to be outside. In order to do this, I use the small containers. I place uh, the paper towels inside, of course, uh, we wet them. And uh, in order to keep the moisture under, we cover the sides with uh, these strips of uh, paper. Uh, we place uh, inside the, our gauge. As you see, we got here uh, the gauges. They uh, show us different uh, readings, but uh, um, uh, we try to figure out uh, the best ones. As you see, we got several of them that show 34 humidity and uh, 82 uh, temperature. We place uh, one of them under this here to read it. And uh, our digital protractor at the beginning it shows us zero degrees, we got this alternative zero, and then we try to uh, watch uh, what's happened uh, in, the, in this process. When we get, uh, collect this data, we uh, understand uh, more about what's happened uh, in, the, in this process, and we try to apply it to the piano. Uh, but uh, let me uh, first set the experiment that we can proceed continue our experiment one hour later. As you remember what was the readings uh, an hour before when we start this experiment, and uh, we show you what's happened now. Of course, during this time, uh, it changes, of course, environment slightly outside. Uh, we shut down uh, air conditioning here, and uh, but nevertheless, uh, you can see that we got a different readings. As you see, Outside, it's 37% humidity and 84 temperature. And you see, it's all came together. It shows us that uh, inside is uh, 84 too, but humidity inside is 52%. It means it's almost 15% different uh, difference. And uh, what uh, shows our protractor? Our protractor show us 0 0.7 degree uh, deviation. It means it goes down. And uh, I just uh, brought this ruler and show you uh, what's happened in the middle of this board. As uh, I touch the ends, and as you see, it goes down. Uh, it's not a quarter, but maybe a 316 down. And uh, the more uh, the uh, humidity increase and or, or decrease outside, the difference is going to be uh, larger and the stress is going to be more on this board. Uh, later on, we can measure uh, the stress. Uh, we can put some weights and straight it and see how much you need to, uh, to, uh, to uh, bring it to the original position. But like I told you before, all this is so just a complex, a complex issue. It's so many variables. 
and uh, generally uh, is no even reason to make some relations between humidity and temperature is so complex here and inside the wood. One thing we have to get from this experiment that definitely if it's a difference in humidity uh, uh, on the side of the uh, piece of wood it's create a lot of stress. And later on we interpret it uh, in our application for our restoration business. After three hours of experiment we can read the numbers on uh, our outside gauges it's a 39 and 84 in the temperature and we can look inside our box it's a 60 and 84 in the temperature a 60 I mean uh, humidity and let's see what's gonna be the curve. Ah, you see, it's get to 0.9% of degree. It means it's almost one degree. But what's the curve created? And the curve is almost the quarter inch. It means it's uh, obviously that if we have a dis uh, difference between two sides, and in our case it's almost already uh, 20, yes, 21, yeah, 21 degrees in the humidity, it means the deviation uh, on the body is increased. And uh, we can even uh, consider this how much it's gonna be if uh, the humidity is gonna be not normal outside, like let's say 15, 20 percent, it's probably going to be almost inch. And the stress on the wood, it will be really, really strong. And I hope uh, that uh, it's, uh, our experiment is continued and we might see uh, different numbers, but it's already obvious uh, that it's affect the wood dramatically and create the stress. If we uh, make a difference in uh, uh, humidity on the outside uh, the size of the piece. We almost done with our experiment as you see I took apart all the setup and uh, you see it's, uh, our paper towel still wet and uh, our board I show you create a curvature you see because of the moisture probably expand one side of the piano and uh, if I put it on the straight surface like granite table you can see that in order to straight it you need to apply some force uh, unfortunately beside this curvature the board creates some uh, become I mean twisted and that's a very uh, actually um, kind of damage on the wood but it's good at least we uh, get some uh, more knowledge this on the curvature and uh, uh, since you feel that in order to straight this board you need to apply some force here uh, it's okay if we measure how much weight we have to put in order to straight it let's use our scales I activate them and weight one piece of um, this bottle with water let's see it's almost uh, 500 grams, it's half a kilo. And uh, if I put it in the middle, uh, as you see, it's not enough. I put the second one, it's not enough either. And uh, once I put the third one, looks like it's straight the board. And we can relate this one and a half kilo of weight to the stress on the, what's happened uh, during our experiment. Unfortunately, you cannot use this data for anything because uh, application for the different pieces gonna be different and uh, you just cannot just relate them too much. It's too many variables here. But uh, at least you know that uh, the moisture create the stress and you know in what direction. It's very important. In this create in a direction expanding uh, the board when the moisture apply. It's, it's a critical knowledge for us. And uh, in this case, 
we can even create the rule that the moisture just create the uh, stress on the wood and maybe permanent damage. And that's why we wear, and we have to be very careful when we use any uh, humidifiers, especially them chasers, that when they place them inside the piano, they definitely create some stress on the piano and especially on the soundboard. And maybe if you uh, kind of calculate everything, you might uh, select the right decision what to do. And that's what uh, the uh, main uh, goal of this experiment, to give you some knowledge that later on you can do the right decision when you uh, try to uh, create uh, some environment for the piano and decrease aging of the piano or stress. Anyway, we thank you for watching this video and uh, hopefully you're going to uh, use this data and uh, we'll see you next time.